Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Today, we want to tell you about Moose McBain and Moose's two adopted sons, Kim and Perry. Moose is a trapper by trade. He uses a unique trap, considered rather old-fashioned among trappers, but Moose wouldn't use anything else. It's called the lariat trap. An animal steps into the noose of the rope hidden on the ground, and when the trap is sprung, the animal is swung into the air, dangling from the end of the rope. Kim and Perry have grown up in the woods, love the animals of the forest with all their heart and soul. It's a great life for Moose and his two adopted boys, being outdoors nearly all the time and coming in only when it's time to sleep or eat. There's the picture. Now, let's find out how Bill and his rangers fit into it. Listen to The Fur Thieves. Just now, the fellas are at headquarters enjoying a little chin music. Say, fellas, I hear that the Snyder boys got licked real good in the last race last Saturday. Well, I say they did, Stumpy, <laughs> by a mile. <laughs> yeah, maybe that'll teach them not to go around thinking they're the world's best ice boaters. Ah, uh, they plenty proud. Forget that. Nobody's unbeatable. Uh, not to change the subject, but are you fellas going to the ski meet next Saturday? No, I hope uh, to. Yeah, sure, sure am. Well, I would miss that for anything in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Jumping Joe Johnson's going to defend his title. He's going to have a tough time trying to beat Leaping Lena Larson. Leaping Lena Larson? I never heard of her. Yeah, neither did I, but I thought it was a pretty good name. <laughs> very funny, very uh, funny. Stumpy, you have a quick mind for a young fellow. Well, thank you, Gray Wolf. I appreciate that. Bill. Bill Jefferson. Someone's been stealing the animals from the trap lines. <laughs> Moose, you sure animals are stolen. Uh, maybe traps not work right and animals get away. Huh? But I'm using a lariat trap. How can the animals get away? Ah, uh, you have good point there. Well, more than that. I know someone's robbing the traps because the snow around is all messed up. Well, then, you should be able to pick up their trail, Moose. Oh, that's right. But I followed only to the logging road and it's gone. What do you mean, Moose? This thief knows his business. It covers his footprints by swishing the snow with pine boughs and keeps it up all the way to the logging road. And then the footprints are lost in the hard-packed snow of the road. That's huh? right. Well, that's clever. Pretty smart thief. Why can't you catch him at work, Moose? Well, a try, Stumpy. But the traps must be tended every other day of good trap lines. One day I'll run the north line, and the next day I'll run the south line. And this robber always works the line that I'm not working. Maybe you try same line two days in row and change schedule. I did, but it did no good. He's too smart for me, I guess. I think we ought to look into this, fellas. Quite a homey place you have here, Moose. Yeah, it's real yeah, nice. It is. Oh, fine. Well, thanks, Rangers. Uh, I'm not too good a housekeeper, but uh, my boys seem to like it all right. A uh, Kim, a uh, Perry, we got company. Come uh, on. I'm just going to ask where boys were, Moose. Uh, the route back with their animals, same as always. I've never seen two boys who had such a love for the animals of the forest. <laughs> they get them when they're wee bairns and raise them up. Say, Bill, Henry, you haven't seen our zoo for a long time, have you? That's right, Kim. I remember you had only two or three animals last time we were here. Mm, that was about, well, let's see, about two years ago. Stumping Gray Wolf have never seen it. Could we show them our zoo, Dad? Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, the rangers aren't here to pet the animals. Oh, come on, Dad. It'll only take a few minutes. <laughs> 
All right. I'll have no peace otherwise. So you'd better go along with the boys, Rangers. Hey, I'm real anxious to see this here collection of animals. Yeah, I am, too. Well, let's take a look. Well, watch out for those animals. You might lose a finger or two. <laughs> What do you think of them? We got lots of animals, haven't we, Bill? I'll say you have. We try and keep them living as natural as we can. And if they don't settle down after they've been here a while, we turn them loose. Well, you sure have them in large enough cages, all right. Are some of them tame, Sonny? Well, sure they are, Stumpy. The squirrels and the coons. Yeah, and the badgers. We've got our team. So are the foxes. I can tell by the way you handle the animals that you love them, fellas. Mm, that's why animals love boys, too. Here, fella. Oops. Boy, he's getting kind of big. Hey, don't tell me you take that bobcat in your arms. Why, he'll scratch your bald headed for your time. Nah, uh, he's a nice fella. He's a little bashful, though. He knows that you fellas are strangers. We wear heavy gloves when we handle him, just in case he makes a mistake. But he's almost as tame as a house cat. There, now. There. Good boy. How you like him, Bill? Oh, he's wonderful, Kim, Perry. Keep up the good work. Well, fellas, perhaps we better get back and get down to business, huh? Boy, the guy that's robbing Moose's traps sure knows how to cover up his tracks all right. You only part right, Henry. There are two of them. Huh? Two fur thieves? Ah, you right, Stumpy. There are two fellows who rob traps. How can you tell that, Grey Wolf? Look, from where I point. All I see are swishes in the snow from pine boughs. Those swishes tell me two thieves use two pine boughs. Well, how do they tell you that? Uh, see right here, where top swish go over bottom swish. One man walk ahead of other, maybe carry animals in between them. Say, I see what you mean, Grey Wolf. How does a fella learn to read like you and Stumpy, huh? Well, it takes experience, sonny. You gotta have a good many years on the trail to read like that. Of course, Grey Wolf, he comes by it natural, be an engine. I think he could track a fella down the main street in Naughty Pine on a Saturday afternoon. Stumpy, you praise too much. What else do you fellas read, Stumpy, Grey Wolf? Eh, not a thing, sonny. That's what makes me mad. These fellas know too well how to cover. Stumpy right, Bill. This heap good job cover trail. Best I see in long time. I was afraid of that. I figured if Moose couldn't track them, there couldn't be too much sign to guide us. Well, let's follow this up to the logging road and take a look there. What do you think, fellas? Any sign? That tear road's as hard as a rock, Bill. I can't see any footprints there. Can you, Grey Wolf? No footprints stand out. And if they did, they, they'd be lost quickly. Say, couldn't some of the lumberjacks see these men coming out into the road, Bill? Not if they were careful and made sure nobody was around, Henry. Mm, yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, here comes Moose. Oh, Bill, you find anything? We didn't find a thing so far as footprints or trail signs are concerned, Moose. But we do know there are two thieves involved. Well, it's more than I could find out. We must get them, Bell. They've robbed some more of my traps this morning. Ah, just keep your chin up, Moose. There's one place we could still go. Where's oh, that? Where? The lumber camp. Maybe some of them have seen strangers walking around here. Don't worry, Murphy. They won't lock you up. Not Bill Jefferson. Hi, fellas. Now, you're right, Sven. We're not here to lock anybody up. But I've got some questions I'd like to ask you. Yeah? What about, Ranger? Somebody's been robbing Moose's trap lines. We're here to find out just what we can about it. Well, look. I've been waiting for you to come after me. I've got them all in an ice box under me bunk. <laughs> Why don't you give them back like a nice fella, Murphy? <laughs> 
Well, I see nothing funny about this at all. Well, that's too bad, Moose. We do. It's real funny. <laughs> Why, you big ox. It wouldn't be so funny if it were money out of your pocket. And who are you calling a big ox? You. Why, for that's two who... cents, I'd knock your block off. I'm waiting. Hey, hold it. Moose, cool off. Murphy, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. This is a serious matter. Quite sure that if the shoe were on your foot, you wouldn't appreciate having fun made out of your misfortune. So let's not overdo the horseplay. Bill's right, Murphy. We shouldn't make jokes at Moose. He earns his living by trapping. Well, I guess you're right, Swin. But I'm sorry, Moose. I spoke out of turn. Uh, no hard feelings, Murphy. Shake. All right. Well, now, with that settled, I'd like to ask a few questions, if you don't mind. Well, go ahead. <coughs> Bill? We'll answer them if we can. Yeah. That's right. We're right. So... Have you fellas seen any strangers walking along the logging road in recent weeks? Oh, can't say that I have. How about the rest of you guys? Not I. No, I haven't seen a thing. Have you seen any strangers around the camp or out in the woods where you're cutting trees? No. What makes you ask about the logging road, Peter? Well, here's the thing. These fur thieves, whoever they are, cover their trail until they get to the logging road, and then after they get on the hard-packed snow, it's impossible to trail them. Oh, I see. Well, I wish I could help you. Yeah, yeah we well, too. Well, I'll sure. tell you what, Moose. I'll be glad to help you watch your traps for you and me spare time. Well, I sure appreciate that, Murphy, but... Uh... Oh, I mean it, Moose. Because if I had two boys to take care of, I'd feel just like you do. Besides, if there's something I hate, it's a thief. Well, okay, Mr. Holmes. Now, how about the solution to this problem? Hmm? Hey, look, can't you wait till I finish my coffee? I know Sherlock Holmes anyway. Come on, Sonny, my curiosity is up to a roaring excitement. When Bill get luck on his face like porcupine that just stuck mountain lion, and then he have answer. <sighs> well, that's good coffee. Come on, Bill, will you stop prolonging the agony? <laughs> okay, pal. Uh, you tell me what's the most obvious clue to this seemingly perfect thievery. Ah, oh, come on now, fellas. You can do better than this. Well, you mean the way they covered their trail? Well, that's one clue. But not the most important one, pal. Uh, thieves always go to a logging road to make getaway. No, Grey Wolf, that's not the most important clue either. Well, them farmers sure know which end of the trap line Moose is working. Ah, Dr. Watson, you're getting warm. Huh? What do you mean, Bill? I think the most important clue to the solution of this trap robbing is that the culprits know Moose's every move. Oh, is that what you're driving here? <laughs> I thought you had something really hot. Well, now think about it for a minute, pal. The persons robbing the traps know every move, and I mean every move that Moose makes. Well, I don't see how that helps. Say, Bill, uh, you're not insinuating that the thieves are friends of Moose McBain. I'm not insinuating anything. You don't mean that maybe Kim and... Think about it. All the facts. Who's better informed of Moose's whereabouts than Kim and Perry? Well, I'll be switched. Bill, I, I think you're wrong. Boy, I'll say so. Those are nice kids. All I'm asking you to do is to think the thing through, that's all. That's impossible, not them. Why, even if I thought it through a dozen times, I wouldn't agree with the young feller. I'm afraid you're off your track this time. I'll say, Stumpy. Bill, can you really believe that Kim and Perry are thieves? And that they're actually stealing from their own dad? I'll shock you again. The boys are not thieves. What? Now, wait a minute. First you say they are, and then you say they're not. Bill. <laughs> I know this is shocking, pal. And I'll have to prove my point in the morning. I still think you're wrong, Bill. You ain't wrong very often, but you sure are this time. Or I'm a cross-eyed walrus. Well, here we are. I don't see any activity from the cabin yet. Uh, just be patient, pal. 
Moose leaves about this time every morning. Takes him just about to sunset to work his traps. It's only one half his lines, of course. Everything's snug as a bug in a rug down there, sonny. Uh, cabin door open now. Hey, it's Moose. He's... Yeah, he's taken off for his north trap line. Good. Now let's circle around and visit his south trap line. Well, you haven't seen Kim and Perry leave the cabin yet, have you, Bill? There's always a back door, pal. Oh. I still say you're wrong, Bill. I can't believe those two boys would steal from their dad's trap lines. Okay, old-timer. But unless I miss my guess, we'll find Kim and Perry working the south line. Let's go. Okay, fellas, take a look. Well, I'll be. Huh? I just can't believe it. You see it, don't you? But why should they take the animals from their dad's traps? It's his bread and butter and theirs, too. You not alone, Henry. Take it easy, fellas. Watch them for a while. But don't let them see you. Hey, look at the way they get that lariat down and undo it. Those two boys are real veterans at it, all right. And they got Fox loose from Lariat now. Look, they let Fox go. What? After all the work of getting the fox out of the trap, they let it go? Well, how come? They got a good reason, all right. Now let's follow them for a while and see what they do with the rest of the animals. Kim and Perry are freeing all the animals. But why? I'll tell you why, Henry. Because they don't want to see them killed for pelts. Huh? Now you make good sense, Bill. Kim and Perry have great love for animals of forest. So they set them free when they get caught in trap. Hey, George, I never thought of that. Now I'm beginning to see the daylight. Henry, keep back. The boys will see you. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill. I got too busy thinking. Bill... Yeah, pal? Why hasn't Moose been able to catch Kim and Perry? Well, for several reasons. First, Moose has to tend to his traps as quickly as possible. The sooner he empties them after they're sprung, the sooner he'll catch another pelt. After all, he earns his dollars by the number of pelts he brings in, as well as their size and quality. Mm, that makes sense. Also, Sonny Moose has to be Johnny on the spot before one of the scavengers of the forest eats his catch. You saw them cougar tracks a while back. And there's wolves and coyotes, too. Not one reason why moose use lariat trap. There's no blood to smell. And Kim and Perry know all these things as, as well as where Mo's, uh, moose is going and, and where he'll be. Yes, that's why moose could never catch the boys when he doubled back on his trail. You mean he told them of his plans, huh? Oh, sure. Probably gives away his scheme when they're having breakfast. Well, how about that? Bill, you're right again. I should have known better than doubt you. Now, how do we tell Moose? Perry, look in the trap up ahead. Hey, it's a cougar cub, Kim. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder where his mother is. Oh, I wouldn't worry about her right now. Let's get the cub down. Okay. You cut the rope and I'll hold him. Ready? Yeah. Cut it. <clears throat> Don't let him get away. I, I think his paw's hurt. Oh, I got him. Take it easy, little fella. Let's see that paw. Oh, look. Oh. It is hurt. Yeah. Poor fella. Watch out for his claws. Yeah. Yes, here's a rope burn. And it looks like the lariat has pulled no. a ligament. We'd better take him home for a while. Hey, we'd better get out of here. That's his mother sneaking up on us. Better let the cub go. We wouldn't want his mother on us. Well, how's he going to walk in the snow? No, I'll carry him and we'll run for it. Come on, Kim. Let's go before we get hurt. Let's head for the highway. Maybe a car will pick us up. You, you run out ahead. I'll keep an eye out for the cat. Okay. Look out! 
She's circling around through the scrub. I see her. Follow me. I know how we can get rid of her. Hey, look out for the edge of the cliff. The snow will fool you on the edge. I'm watching it. Look out. She's going to attack from behind. I see her. Keep her off. Ah! Kim! Where are you, Kim? Down here, Perry. My leg's wedged in between two rocks. I, I can't move. Perry, you're going to have to go get Dad. I, I can't leave you alone. The cougar's going to try and get down there. She's trying to get down on the ledge. She'll get down all right. While she's trying, you run and get help. And leave you alone? I can't do that, Kim. You hang on to the cub. I'll figure some way to get you off the ledge. You better think of something quick. That cat's matter. Boy, it's going to be tough breaking the news to Moose. He finds out he'll probably wallop the daylights out of Kim and Perry, hmm? Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. His temper may get the best of him. Moose is kind father, but there's limit. Yeah, you can't say the boys are emptying his traps to be mean. Just couldn't stand them critters being killed and made into fur coats. I feel the same way, old-timer. Boys aren't malicious. They just don't understand what they're doing. Hey, Bill, how come you're turning around? I thought we were going back to headquarters. I've changed my mind, pal. Kim, can't you keep that cub quiet? No, he's hungry, I think. And that's what his ma thinks, too. She'll get meaner than a grizzly now. Oh, you said it. She's working her way along the top of the ridge. I think she's going to try and get here by leaping from one shelf to another. Can she make it, do you think? Last leap was pretty far. Maybe she'll make it and maybe she won't. I've got an idea. I'll make a fire by pulling the innards out of a rotten log and covering the fire with pine boughs. Maybe we can scare away that way. Oh, make it fast, Perry. She's getting ready to jump again. Well, five more should be right on top of me. A bill that's not like my boys to be away like this. They're always home when I get back from work on my trap line. Do you have any idea where they could have gone, Moose? No. Once in a while, they're going to town with one of the lumber trucks, but then they always leave a note for me. Say... Maybe that's where they did go, and they just forgot to leave the note. Oh, that's right. Uh, maybe that is the answer. Well, what? let's find out. Moose, you and Grey Wolf, circle around to the lumber camp and see if you can pick up the boys' trail. Stumpy, Henry, and I will circle around to the south and see if we can find anything. Hold on. I've got a couple of firebrands here. I'll throw them at her. Hurry up, then. She's coming. Here goes. Out a boy, Perry. Out a boy. He threw her back along the other leg. One of the firebrands hit the rock above and threw hot embers all over her. Good. What a break. I've got some more where those came from. You can't keep them throwing them forever, though. Maybe I won't have to. Help should come soon. Somebody will wonder where all the smoke's coming from. I'll throw some more stuff on the fire. And you holler if she tries to jump again. Hey, Bill, those boys must have got in trouble since we saw them last. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think you're right. That's why I sent Moose and Grey Wolf the other way. Let's keep walking fast. We'll swing in a wide arc around where we last saw them. There's got to be a trail somewhere along the arc. I hope so. Hey, hold it, fellas! A mountain lion. Yeah, screaming his head off. Let's go on the double. I 
white cat's floating crazy about something. Maybe it's the boys. Yeah. Maybe she's got the boys cornered. Save your breath. We're running, fellas. We still got a ways to go. Hey, Ben. I smell smoke. Yeah? I hope it isn't a forest fire. I don't think it is, Henry. I think the fire's connected some way to the cat. Hey, stop it. Have old Betsy on the ready. We may need ya. Okay, young fella. Old Betsy's ready to speak a piece. Hey, there's Perry. Yeah. Where's Kim? Kim's on the ledge. The cougar's about to attack. Let's get to the ledge, fellas. Stay back, Perry. Get, get that cougar. Well, the snow's broken, Stubby. Get in there. Don't go over like Kim did. Hey, watch it, Sonny. Kim, Perry, the cat's going to jump. Shoot, Stubby. Shoot, man, shoot. Well, Bill, how's Kim's leg? Be good as new as soon as I get this bandage on, Moose. Not uh, good. Not broken, just badly bruised. It feels a lot better now. Boy, Stumpy, that sure was some shot you made. Wow, you picked that cougar right out of the air. Not only that, but he just finished running a good half mile before he made that shot. And that one shot had to be good or else. Well, you don't know how much I appreciate you fellas saving my boys... You're not angry with us now that you know the truth, Dan? I love you too much for that, Perry. And knowing you love animals as much as you do, how could I be angry? Oh, you're wonderful, Dan. You know we didn't do it to be mean, honest. I know that. But, Cam, there's some things you don't understand yet, and you should. What's that, Dad? Well, God made some animals for us to eat. Others he made so we could have warm clothing, don't you see? And it's necessary sometimes to destroy some of the more aggressive animals uh, so they won't kill off the weaker ones. How could there be anything wrong with that, eh? I never thought of it that way, Dad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, Dad. Dad! Hi. Can we still have our zoo? <laughs> Uh, why, sure. <laughs> and maybe we can keep the cougar cub until he's big enough to take care of oh, himself. Why, certainly. Boy, did yes, you hear well. that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. And, fellas. Yeah? Yeah, Bill? Just a word from a ranger who loves animals just as much as you do. Remember, your dad's trying to make a living for all three of you. And eating roots is kind of hard on the digestive system. We'll remember, Bill. Honest. We didn't understand. But now we do. Isn't that right, Perry? Right. You know, fellas and girls, it's easy for us to get confused, isn't it? Sometimes our parents do things we don't understand. Sometimes they don't even seem right. But if you ever get to the mixed-up stage, sit down and talk it over with mother and dad, won't you? See you next week, boys and girls, for more adventure with... Ranger Bill! Hi there, boys and girls. This is Ranger Bill, back again for just a third of a minute with an extra word of thanks to you for joining us today. Hope you'll team up with the Rangers every week at this time when your local station gives us this chance to get together. See you then. <laughs> <laughs>